Alright, so uh, how I'm going to do this is basically I'm going to keep my feet very close together and I'm going to go through the full range of motion. So even when I come down, I'm going to try to get a nice stretch at the bottom and then I'm going to slowly bring it up, probably like two to three seconds on when I'm bringing them up and then I'm going to hold it for one to two seconds at the top and then I'm going to lower it for four seconds. I'm going to try to get 12 to 15 reps in that range. Not going to failure this week. Um, this is my deal of the week, but yeah, I'll just show you guys how it looks. Another thing too is if you try to, I've always found if I try to almost press my knees like up against the padding, it helps me to really engage my hamstrings a lot more rather than if my if I wasn't conscious about like trying to push my knees or like my hips towards the padding. It really you can really feel a, a big difference. And my hamstrings were one of my weak points. I, didn't train them because I thought like just by squatting they would develop but once I started to like isolate it get like a good full range of motion and like actually squeeze it at the top I found that I got like a lot better development like doing it that way um, rather than just mindlessly doing the reps and I think my hamstrings are probably one of my strongest muscle groups I would, I would think definitely my most improved for sure so yeah, try that out. All right, so um, same thing over here. We're going to full range of motion, but pausing at the bottom too, because I get a really good stretch at the bottom, and that's another spot where you can get a lot of hypertrophy or muscle growth is at the bottom or in the stretch position, and that's for like any exercise. And that's why I started doing full range of motion because if you're not doing full range of motion, you're not going to get that stretch at the bottom, which is not only like when you're squeezing it at the top, like yeah, that that is a, a spot for muscle growth during the rep, but the stretch position is really good as well. Uh, you shouldn't neglect that. And um, I'm going to hold it at the top too. Uh, again, this is going to be like 12 to 15 reps, as I did over at the line extensions. Um, but yeah, and then just trying to trying to squeeze my legs together too that'll really help with hitting the teardrop so I'm just gonna go and do this also I'm keeping my feet up too that'll really engage like right here on your quads.
the same principles apply to me. I was doing hamstrings over there and when I was doing extensions. But um, basically, on this machine in particular, you want to feel like really tight. When you're in the machine. You pretty much want to feel like your legs are pushing up against the seat right here. Because uh, that's going to really help when you go down. And then when you come up, it's going to help your hamstrings stretch at the top. If you don't have it tight here, you're not going to feel your hamstrings stretch at all. You're going to feel like a lot of tension is going to be lost. But uh, yeah, you just want to go down and then hold it for one or two seconds and then slowly go up. Probably count like four seconds up. And then really go all the way at the, to the top, like where my legs are now. And then you'll feel a really good stretch. And that'll help you with stretching out and contracting your hamstrings a lot. One thing too is uh, I always notice that my left hand shoe is always a little bit smaller than my right. But if you ever have like imbalances, you don't necessarily have to train them like one leg at a time. And what you can do is just take a little bit of pressure off of one leg and let the leg that's smaller take most of the load. Because a lot of times what happens is the one that's more developed is usually more stronger too and it'll kind of take over when you're doing the reps. So if you just ease up on the side that's more developed, just it'll help counteract those imbalances. And I've noticed that too in, uh, my, in my training, so I see if that helps you guys. Alright, so on this one, I'm just going to go really slow and I'm just going to pause it for like a second at the bottom because you don't want to like bounce when you hit the bottom. You just want it to be like a nice light touch at the bottom and then just go up and I'm going to do complete full range of motion and uh, now put my hands on my legs um, and I have this band in the back of me because if you guys have like any type of knee pain it'll help relieve that. Um, it really helps out with that. So gonna get like 12 reps probably so So the leg press is usually an exercise where people do a lot of eagle lifting, but if you're stunned right, it's actually a very humbling exercise. Um, you can't really do, or at least I can't do really a lot of weight, but just like we did with every other exercise on this video, we did a complete full range of motion, and this one, you literally want to go like to the absolute bottom until it like, hits that bottom bracket. Um, and you want to kind of put your feet 
a little bit lower because if you put it too high, you won't get the range of motion that you need. Um, and I'm also going to pause that at the bottom too. So I'll show you guys what I mean. And also too, I have uh, this roller right here. If your gym has it, definitely use it. Because if you're going really low, your upper, your lower back will end up coming off the seat and it can hurt your lower back. So if you get, you definitely need one of these if you're doing the light press, for sure. So, So I just got done with the workout. Um, I know I always hate doing deload load weeks because I can't go as hard as I would like to. Um, I feel way better when I do my regular workouts where I'm going all out on that one set. And I think that's what's been attributing a lot of my growth lately too. Obviously my diet, has been uh, helping me too, but um, definitely the workouts and the frequency of the workouts too. So not only am I going doing that one step to failure, but I'm also only training two to three times a week so that gives my body enough time to recover from those workouts where if I was doing five to six days a week, there's no way I would be able to recover. And no way I'd be able to push hard too because it's not only, you're not only just recovering your muscle, it's also your central nervous system, which that, it doesn't matter how many drugs you're on or how, how hard you're working out or how much you're sleeping. If you don't take time to rest, your central nervous system will never be able to recover. It's just how it is. And so that's why doing the two or three days a week, I feel has really helped me a lot to push really hard and to have those really good quality workouts that I feel like I've been lacking um, the past couple of years. When I first started working out, I had amazing, amazing workouts all the time. Like I could push really hard and I was working out five days a week at the time but then it eventually ended up catching up to me and so I didn't know any better but I had to I should have what I should have done is just scale it back um, and I was doing multiple sets to multiple sets to failure um, so that <laughs> That definitely, if I try that now, I could definitely feel the difference. Um, now that I'm doing it the, uh, a, a better way now, I can compare it to how I was doing before. So um, definitely, definitely feel a difference for sure. So I'm just gonna go home, have my post-workout meal, which is cream of rice, and uh, it's supposed to be protein powder, but. I'm all out of protein powder, so I'm just gonna swap it out for chicken, and it's not really a big deal. Um, as long as you're having healthy food, your clean, whole food, it's, you can always swap out something else for another thing. It doesn't.
I was like absolutely starving. But now, I mean, I, I am hungry now, but I'm not like starving how I was before. And uh, it definitely helps having that meal right afterwards. Yes, I would say it's probably at a 20% decline. I'll compare it to the treble that I 